Got the got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Alright y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to show y'all a little something. So y'all see how thick this frontal looks? Um, I just cannot get with it, so I gotta pluck my life away to get it to look as natural as possible. So first things first, I'm gonna take my got to be free spray. And I'm just gonna brush all the hairs back so I don't over bleach anything. You know, not, no extra hair gets bleached or whatever the case may be. And then I'm gonna go on with the bleach and leave it on for approximately... 35 minutes actually I'm lying 30 minutes and some people do 20 minutes some people might do more than 30 I kind of just stick to 30 so it's not over bleached you know it's all about preference but that's really my main what my main focus was now I also wanted to turn this into an everyday wig if you know me you know what my go-to hairstyle is and that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video now I know that a thick hairline is not necessarily a super good thing but I do want to point out the fact that it's it'll make it harder for it to bold you know how when somebody plucks a frontal or you get a frontal done it's plucked to perfection and then after a while it starts to bold and you're like what the hell just happened like where's the hair in my frontal or my wig whatever so that's a good thing and a bad thing it doesn't look that natural at first but over time once you wear it a few times everything will start to look as natural as possible so right now I'm just going in with my tweezers and I'm just going to pluck away. My hands was cramping and everything, but I really wanted to get this as natural as possible. And sometimes after plucking for so long, you just be like, you know what? I'm done. I don't care. I'm good. And that's kind of how I was feeling. I still got this to look very natural, but it still was like, girl, this is a lot. Like it's mad annoying. Also, I did want to mention that this hair is from V Show Hair. And I will be linking all the information down in the description box below, as I always do. So, other than that, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, y'all, so now that we finished with the plucking and everything, and y'all saw how it came out, it's time to put this on. Now, I really, first of all, I be, nowadays, I really feel like I be running out of um, tutorial ideas. Some of the ones I want to do, they don't send me the certain wigs I would need. So it's like, I think I might have to take it up a notch and just start really promoting my company heavily or something like that because I just be mad annoyed. But this hairstyle, and specifically for the everyday girl you could wear this hair on a date night that's actually what i might call it i think i'm gonna call this a date night look because it's fun it could be any kind of date night you and your man just laying up watching movies in the crib or y'all just going to get something to eat real quick i don't have no makeup i just got my um i did my eyebrows real quick and i put some lashes and some lip gloss on and that was about it so yeah this look is gonna be very quick easy and convenient. I just really hope it looks as natural as possible. 
um, due to the knots being the color, I mean, being as thick as it was, it was kind of annoying. If y'all hear any like boy noises, my brothers is so loud playing the game and they're below mine's right now. But anyways, y'all, also I couldn't really do too much with this wig because it is um, one of those type of wigs where they only give you about like an inch of parting space on the side so you only really got the middle to work with. And I'm just not even about to stress all that. It's really not that serious. It is what it is. Also, I know y'all peep the background is a little different. Y'all know I'm always moving around. Like, I don't know. I just, I hate being stagnant. Like, if I feel like, I get bored very quickly. So, I just be wanting to do better and like fix my setup. This is not the setup I want. This is just something that's just like here for the moment. Is my camera crooked? If it's crooked, my fault. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to do a little something. Just make it look a little bit more fun. I got a little plant or whatever. I'm going to do my vlog this week because I started doing weekly vlogs. This is my first time week doing a weekly vlog. And um, I went to Home Goods and pick, picked up a few things. So, I'm going to just show y'all what I picked up. And, oh, my God. I mentioned in the video, too, that was my first time going. And I'm just like, oh, my God. When I get my apartment... It's really litty. Like, I'm about to go in Home Goods and go dumb. Like, it's so much stuff in there. And I'm just like, I can't wait to decorate and you know, all that good stuff, you know. But, anyways, oh, anyways, I'm going to. Um, Y'all know I'm applying my uh, shade, my RK by Kiss concealer on the lace so it can match better. And um, I got this from the hair store. It retails for like what? No more than five dollars, like three to five dollars, I believe. I'm the shade 10 if you're interested, and I'm just gonna wipe this all over the lace so we could glue it down. I tend to wipe it, um, I wipe it, I tend to apply it on the um, underneath the lace and on top of the lace, like right where the knots are, just to give it a better blend. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't go all the way through, so you know. So, this is how it's looking right now, matching pretty good, transparent lace. And yeah, let's get this bad boy on. So for one of my next videos, should I just tell y'all sneak peek of what I want to do? I don't think I'm going to do... No, nah, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to surprise y'all. But um, I have a really good idea for my next um, hair video. I already do want to switch it up. I wanted to tell y'all a story time while doing this video. But let me tell y'all something. Let me talk and do it at the same time. My fault. Because they be fiending, yo. A lot of these companies... They really be fiending when it comes to dedicated videos and they don't want you to talk in the video They don't want you to do nothing extra in these videos. I'm about to look like a bold Diana, but um They don't want you to talk in these videos They don't want you to um, Promote any other products. They just want you products clothes get ready with me chit chat They want it to be straight hair videos and that's a lot of that's the reason why a lot of my hair videos were just straight videos straight hair videos and boring because that's what the company requests but it's like i'm tired of going off of what the company requests this is my channel and i want to do what i want to do so that's why i've been trying to like switch it up for y'all lately and just um try to do things like a big different i'd be tired of the same old same old like it's so whack and it's so boring and i'm over it i'm just cutting my lace across because i hate when it messes up my eyebrows so i'm gonna cut this off but yeah, they don't let me really have fun and be creative. So a lot of the content I don't monetize or I get lucky with and can do other things while I do my hair. Because I just feel like we all do different things when we do our hair. Some of us listen to music. Some of us watch videos. Me. Um, also a whole lot of different things people do when they do their hair. So it's just like, is this going to be a problem? I might have to cut this. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna really try to make this look as natural as possible. Um, I don't think it's not gonna look natural, but I just felt like I wanted to look a certain way and I'm not sure if it's gonna come out that way, so we're just gonna have to see. What I want y'all to do is comment down below, and I ask on my Instagram story a lot, but I know some of y'all probably don't have me on Instagram or whatever the case may be, so... If you're watching this video right now, leave me a comment down below that's um, basically telling me what y'all, what other type of videos I can make 
while I do my hair, just period. I know y'all want to see pranks and all that stuff, but everybody don't got the predicament to be doing pranks. And everybody, family, and friends do not play like that. So y'all really got to be considerate for a lot of things. And everybody don't be wanting to be involved in this YouTube stuff. Like, you know, I'm the only person in my family who does YouTube. The only person. And I'm not saying I'm the only person who's going to be doing that in my family. Who knows what they might do. Like, my cousins and stuff, who knows. But as of right now, I'm the only person in my family who does YouTube. And I don't know. I just be wanting to do a lot of things. But I feel like it's a time and place for everything. And it's certain people you can do it with. That's why you see some people don't bring their family onto uh, social media or their YouTube platform. Because it's just like, they don't want to be involved. Like, I've done seen some good videos. But yeah, drop that down below so I could see what's on your mind. This lace is giving, it's going to match, but still be a little bit too dark. I think I put a lot. But then again, it looks like it matches just fine. Maybe I'm bugging. All right, y'all. So let me glue this on, and I'm going to come back to talk with y'all while I'm, um, I'm going to come back to talk with y'all when it's time to style it.
Yeah, first of all, I'm so mad. My nails are crazy. I'm about to go get them done. Um, was it 12 o'clock yet? No, I'm about to go get them done um, on Wednesday. Finally, it's just not given. It's really not given. Okay, so. This is my favorite mousse to define my curls. And Nairobi mousse is my favorite mousse to define my uh, baby hairs. I don't really use mousse to define my baby hairs as much anymore because I don't feel like... Most of the time I have on makeup and a lot of the time when I use mousse, it moves around my makeup. Especially, I know I get details when I do my baby hairs. Sometimes they don't really come out right. I just had a good baby hair day today, I guess, whatever. So, if y'all was wondering, this is my favorite mousse for baby hairs. This is my favorite mousse, the olive oil mousse, um, for defining waves and curls and stuff like that. Yo, oh my god, I remember I used this one time um, on one of my other looks. And, yo... I used it, I tied my hair up, and I was about to go to sleep. I mean, not I was about to go to sleep. I went to sleep, and my bonnet had came off. I was just like, I woke up in the middle of the night, because you know you got that instinct where your bonnet sl slide off or whatever. So I woke up a little bit, and I'm just like inhaling, and I'm like, yo, this smell mad good. Like, my hair smell mad good. Like, if somebody was to wake up next to me, they would not smell no burnt, fried hair smelling. Because you know how sometimes our hair can smell kind of burnt. All that chemicals and stuff we be putting in it. Let's be honest. Ooh. All right. We're not going to get with them. All right. All right. The mousse is already getting messy. Let me get it together. But yeah, this is my favorite mousse. Like, and also another tip to have big bouncy curls because some people like their curls staying super defined all day. I like when my curls are kind of loose looking. Like the natural wave. This is natural wave. and I mean this is water wave. But I like this type of wave compared to anything. I tell y'all that all the time. And I still mean it to this day. This is my perfect type of wave. Not too much. Not too little. Y'all know how that go. So I'm just work this in there. And I don't know why I didn't use um, the olive oil grip gel for this look today. Probably because I'm going to wear it for uh, like a day or two. And so I just wanted some like real type of security because that's not what it's giving if that was the case. You see how when you comb it out, it's like it's loose, but it's not like, like you don't lose the wave or the curl. Like it's still very much there. It's just a little bit more bouncy. And it dries like this too, so it's so cute. I don't want it too perfect. I kind of just wanted to get the product on there. So I might as well just put it in my hand at this point. Because the way it was just flying everywhere was mad annoying. Alright, so I'm going to just take this scarf off and boom, bow. Like, we looking very good. Y'all know I love my flip over. Date night wig, hello. It's looking really nice. This is definitely a date night wig. This is an everyday wig for me, to be honest. Like, this is really an everyday wig for me. This is my favorite look. Oh my god. If I ever do like a trivia or like a pop quiz or something, I'm like, what's my favorite look? Y'all better remember this video. Where, all right, let me just, cause this needs to be flipped over too. And yeah, at least I got it to look somewhat natural, right? Let's get up close, see what this is looking like. The hairline was this, but we made it work, of course. Mm -hmm. You can flip it to the other side. Do what you feeling. I put it up sometimes. Y'all know my pineapple. Y'all know how I get it. But this is one of my favorite looks overall. The nails is just distracting me. Oh my God, y'all. It's pissing me off. Anyways, let me know down below in the comments the type of videos y'all would like to see. Whether I'm doing that, y'all idea, and doing my hair or just an idea, period. I always try to, you know, consider what y'all want to see. I want to make it very entertaining for y'all while still getting a job done. So I'm going to need y'all to... 
put those comments down below and comment what y'all think about this look i'm gonna leave the hair information down in the description box below so if y'all want to know the way i got this hair from then y'all will see that other than that i don't know where y'all going or what y'all doing when y'all watch this look or whatever you got going on but i hope you have a good day good night good morning and i'm just such positive vibes right now i love y'all so much and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video bye loves Got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them horses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now.